Finals night in Wolverhampton and the last match of the 2018 Grand Slam of Darts. Gary and Gerwin, Anderson Price in a slugfest for the Eric Bristow Trophy and it got rowdy. There were a few come-ons and a whole lot of controversy. Contact on stage today on High Roller Radio. Yes, Gary Anderson looking for his first ever Grand Slam title. The Iceman, meantime, in just his second ever major final. But he's had a fantastic week, and he'd be looking to keep that run going tonight. We get the head-to-head comparison from Adocopedia. Individual dart averages for the Grand Slam thus far, he tweeted. Anderson's first start, 96.63. Price's first start, 98. Anderson's second, 105. Price is 98. Anderson's third dart, 105.48. Price's third dart, 93. Those second and third darts huge for the Flying Scotsman. Will they be the difference tonight? Final announced darts behind the hockey, asking the ultimate question, who will win? Seems like former guest at Tom Sports Journal already knows. What an afternoon of action, he tweeted, and a good day at the office. Two, Tom providing the betting tips for Betfair, crushing it, check marks all around. We thank Ben on Sport for this update. Robert Marianovic securing his spot at the Alley Pally after winning the German Super League. It'll be his third appearance. We thank at Darts News Stats for letting us know that Devin Peterson will also be returning. He took down the PDC African qualifier today, his sixth appearance. Congrats, guys. Well done. All right, your match odds for tonight's finale. Grand Slam glory awaiting one of these two. Anderson, the big favorite, and for good reason. 6-2 on the head-to-head. Price, the underdog, listed at 7-2. Here they are. Drama from the start. Ando firing in a 177 to leave 32. But the Welshman nailed the Shanghai on 20s. The 120 checkout and the celebration. Here we go. Game on. They'd exchange holds from there until this fifth leg Anderson cleaning up 80 with two double tops for first blood nice feeling here as he collected his winning darts a little wry smile for his family as he exited stage left 3-2 up a break at the commercials despite this 180 Ando would hold in the sixth leg but Price would nail another maximum the very next and then this double 10 for a sparkling 137 checkout and the obligatory celebration but Anderson can celebrate too and he did after taking out 81 for 6-4 at the second interval you know he'd like that one as darts behind the hockey noted things heating up as Gando seems a bit angry at something terrible start to the third session for Price Ando upping the pressure nice 140 here he held Held first, then broke for 7-4, daylight. Price, though, got that break back immediately as he split the 38-14, double 12. He then held and broke again, three on the spin for 7-7. Drama here, the two having words as darts behind the Yaki called it. Ando is irked. You see the disappointment and frustration on his face. Gerwin smiling in the background, shaping up to be a Price kind of match. He was digging deep. Deep, cementing a brilliant comeback on double 10 four in a row for eight seven at the interval and he gave it some look at this Gary walking off stage flustered third session couldn't have started any better for Anderson nailed the bullseye for a 72 checkout with price sitting on a double then pin 60 double 12 for an 84 finish and look at this gave it some back walked right to the edge of the stage with multiple fist pumps and then for good measure this gem a 144 checkout and he celebrated again but the Welshman is tough he hit right back and how about this motioned with his hand for everyone to keep on talking then he stared down the crowd 11-9 after four mini sessions pain for price to start the fifth missed his double and anderson pounced cleaning up the 45 on double top credit to price though responded with a clutch 78 checkout not so fast he said then he fired in his third ton plus finish a 130 on double 20 he then hit double 
five, still fighting, but still down a break. 13-12 Ando as they walked off stage. Tension now as we head down the home stretch. Madhouse in the 26th leg. Double one, then the fist pump, and we are deadlocked at 13. A best of five now for all the marbles. From there absolute craziness the two had more words back of stage anderson obviously put off you can see him here talking to himself likely cursing not happy then we got this and this will be talked about folks after price nailed double six he went to give it some as ando approached the hockey they bumped anderson pushing price away it wasn't a rugby tackle but it was contact the welshman stood firm more words, the pair jawing at one another, and when Gerwin went two legs clear, more theatrics. The curtain called in the 29th leg, an 80 finish for the exclamation point. No handshakes, just more price enthusiasm. Arms wide, it's his first ever major title and the first ever for Wales. For Anderson, tough, tough result. Thumbs up, though, for the crowd, and a second place trophy to go along with 50 55,000 pounds. But this guy gets the 110k up top, the Eric Bristow trophy, and no doubt headlines worldwide. He celebrated some more, and as the confetti rained down, so too did the booze. He won't mind though. I was chasing the game all the way through, he said. I knew if I kept the pressure on, he was going to crack and he did. On the contact on stage, I'm throwing my darts, he said. He needs to hold back and wait his turn. I knew I was going to beat him. He can't handle playing me. And lastly, on the booze, doesn't bother me, he confirmed. Sometimes the crowd is with you. Sometimes they're against you. The darting gods were with him today. Absolute drama. Two days ago, when Aki Balboa asked, if not MVG or Ando, then who? We responded, would have to take a flyer on Gerwin Price. We nailed it, but we had no idea it would go down like this. One of the craziest and most contentious finals ever. Price wins it for outstretched arms and darting glory. Wow, 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 what theater. Confetti and controversy today on High Roller Radio.